So now I'm in the daylight and I'm moving stuff around and I'm, you can see the access into my camper from above my wheel from the outside. Um, so I'm moving some stuff around on this shelf here in my camper. As you can see, the debris from the road has come in into the cabinet and it's pretty dirty. And then you can see down there the lower level, some of the debris that broke off of the wood. Yeah, so we're gonna see what we can do here. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side of way Hey, we're at Walmart And uh We're getting a new tire For the trailer so we're not gonna put it on. I'm just gonna leave it in the van until I can get the uh, wheel well fixed. And I'm gonna leave my spare on there. And then I'll have a brand new one with my rim already on it. I'll put that in the back of the van. He's doing that right now. It's only gonna be about 130 bucks for the trailer wheel tire, but um, That'll get me, you know, I know I can get to Yuma that way. And then after we get it fixed, we could maybe put that on and put the spare back on the back. <sighs> Second time I've used my spare, but the first time I didn't drive very far with it. And then this time I drove, I'm driving further, but I might as well get use out of it before it goes bad. I just passed the state line into Arizona. I would have took a picture, but I'm not that quick anymore. I'm only one-handed person. That's right, I'm the one-armed nomad right now. So, um, yep, I am in Arizona on I-10. It won't be long, it won't be long, yeah. It won't be long, yeah. It won't be long until I get to my RV park and park and park and then I can assess the damages. Yep. So, the minute you get in here, I'm coming up upon the first rest stop. And it's uh, 5 o'clock Midwest time. 3 o'clock probably three at probably three o'clock Arizona time. Um, so I'm getting kind of tired, but so it's up early. Uh, next rest stop won't be for 69 miles. Well, I'm 69 years old. I guess I can go 69 more miles. Before I stop, I've got three quarters of a tank of gas, and I probably could make it that way. So, I'm going to keep going. Okay, here we are. Here's a sign right here. So, I got the sign. Arizona, Arizona. from Wilcox, which is one of the towns I normally visit when I visit Christopher Travels. I'm not stopping on the way there this year. I had planned on stopping on the way there, but that's not going to happen now that this issue has come up. I'll have to stop there on the way leaving. Good morning. RV Rubble Watchers and YouTubers. 
Well, it's about three o'clock in the morning and I'm parked at a, <laughs> there's Danny, and I am parked at a pilot or loves gas station here. And I am just about at my destination in Yuma, Arizona. I pulled into here last night and I got myself a nice shower. Well, the prices went up to $17. So, whoa, $70, but it was well worth it. Due to my current situation, that there's a hole in my, there's a hole in my bucket. Well, you can't see it, but everything that I had in my cabinet over here has been emptied out and onto the floor. So I have very little room because I had a blowout, if you've seen my previous video, and I had a blowout and what happened was, I, and I've got a big gaping hole above my passenger side tire. And so I can't have all that stuff falling out of the hole above my tire, of course. So I had to bring everything out of the cabinet and set it in here. I also lost my power because the wiring all got messed up. And so I am, um, using solar power from my solar light that I have up here hanging. I have a solar light hanging. You can see it right here. That I have off of my flying saucer solar lamp. I bought a couple years ago from a company in Las Vegas. And these little lights that go on top of my saucer, which is a big light, really come in handy when I'm boondocking and I don't have any electricity. So now I have no electricity in my camper, which means I cannot put my slide out. So uh, it's difficult to get to anything, but I am able to get, barely get back to my bathroom, which is back there. And I've had to move things around because of all the power issues and the hole in my camper underneath my kitchen sink. <laughs> so what is the plan for today? Well, the plan for today is, as you can hear, it's a little noisy here, but I did get some great hours of sleep, actually, because I parked right up in the main parking area next to the gas pumps. I'm not parked in the back. I didn't want to end up getting a diesel headache, considering I'm still on steroids, and I'm still taking Benadryl after being stung by the bee on the, the, uh, but the swelling has gone down on this middle finger. <laughs> yeah, you can still see the mark from my ring. When that bee tried to get underneath my splint from fracturing my wrist when I fell off my bike, or as I joked around and said, when I fell off my broom, at the Halloween Lollapalooza gathering or just prior to it. So anyway, I'm, I'm kind of cramped in here. It's um, a little difficult to be climbing up into my bed over there with one arm. So I've decided to just stay and sleep in my dinette with my trusty little friend over here, Diva Danny. As you can see, she's hiding her face because the light is bothering her. <laughs> She's such a diva. Love that girl. So the plan today is to get to Yuma, which I am two and a half hours from Yuma. And when I get to Yuma, I have rented a storage shed so that I can move some of my stuff out of my camper and contact the insurance company to see what they can help me with now that I have incurred this damage on my little house on wheels. We'll see what I'll be able to do. And as I've said many times before, I'm very happy that I chose the setup. Whoops. I'm very happy that I chose the setup that I did. Having a van and the camper allows me to move into my van if I need to and use that for my home until we can see what's gonna happen with this RV. I will be staying at a Thousand Trails Park that I get to check into today. And my friend, 
one of my friends, the Dan Van, go check out his channel. He's going to come over and try to help me cover up this hole until I can see what my insurance company might be able to do for me. So I hope you'll stay tuned and watch my <laughs> dilemma as it unfolds and hopefully corrects itself. And um, I'm hoping I could get my house in order, literally. <laughs> you know, living on the road as a full-time traveler, nomad, is not always sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. You know what I'm saying? It's not any different than having a home in the sticks and bricks. Shit happens, you know? I mean, if I still lived in Florida, I could be suffering from hurricane damage because I was in an area previously that got totally hit and destroyed by the hurricane. I could also be still living in the Midwest and be a victim of a tornado or just get a leaky roof. You know, anything can happen in any kind of home that you own. And that is no exception when you're a full-time RV traveler. Yeah, it's part of life. So stay tuned as I convert and move some stuff into storage so that I could get my house on wheels back in order so I'm on the road again. Okay, so I'm back on the road and I'm two and a half hours from Yuma, which if, you know, according to my agenda, that's gonna work great. It is actually seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and I'm awake and running. Yeah, you, you know what? You got stuff to get done. You got stuff to get done, you know, even though I'm not. But remember, it's actually nine o'clock in the morning in the Midwest, which is where I have basically stay on their time schedule. Um, so my body clock stays in a good um, place and I'm not going up and down with jet lag so I'm on my way to Yuma two and a half hours I'm going to go right to the storage lo the storage location the U-Haul and get um, my shed and then try to get some of the stuff out of my camper and into the um, into the storage shut locker or whatever you want to call it. I call it a locker into my storage unit. So um, I'll have that, you know, in storage just, just while I'm getting situated and get a hold of insurance and find out what the girl's going to do, you know? Yeah. So that's what we're doing. That's the agenda. Come along with me and I'll show you how it goes. Now I'm coming up eight... Interstate 8 in into Yuma. I'm about 20 miles away. But it says, for the next mile, watch out for falling rocks. Okay, like I really need to watch out. need to have anything else, right? Right now. But slower traffic. So I'm just staying behind this utility truck. So that nobody can be pissed off at me for not going fast enough. I'm going uphill. There's a guy on a bicycle bicycling up this road um just a two later but it sure is darn pretty isn't it sure is pretty i've never gone up this way before i never come i don't remember coming straight i've not ever come straight to yuma so i've always gone like to quartzite and then from quartzite gone to yuma so i mean i guess i'm coming a different way than I would normally have driven, but it is sure darn pretty because I do like the mountains and I don't mind going slow or slower, especially considering my circumstances. Uh, I don't want to be hauling ass through here, on a, you know, but um, yeah, so I don't mind being behind this, this utility truck. I just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, so, all right, so I have arrived in Yuma. I'm parked on the street for now because I'm gonna quickly pan over. I'm going 
going into, up to the U-Haul office to get signed in and registered. And then I'll head over to the U-Haul, actually the storage place. This is just the office where they do the hitches and all the other stuff. So, I'm going over there. Boxes, moving supplies, etc., etc. Be back. I drove over to the new unit, which is only about three miles away from the main office there. And they gave me a welcome package and a lock with two keys. In addition to my zip card which gives me access in and out of the facility and it is indoor climate controlled i'm gonna try to get some stuff in there so i can have some space to live in my dilapidated rv let's see where it, my drawers for my silverware and stuff. So I've got my U-Haul storage shed and brought in some stuff. Got some of this stuff out of the camper so I could get to my bathroom. Nice secured building. Yep, made room in my van so I can move things around in case I have to stay in my van. Yeah. I think they'll we'll be making another trip here soon but first i want to get my all my stuff organized at my new camp and um it's yeah i i look a wreck but you know it is what it is and i got what i could get done one-handedly and we'll see what happens when um after i get my camp set up Stay tuned for more on the one-armed nomad. I put a towel around the wheel well, but I also have a piece of cardboard there to keep the bugs out, hopefully mosquitoes from getting me. And I put my extension cord through here, which is plugged into my van because they do not have a regular 110 or 20 amp plug that I could use. It's just a 30 amp and I don't have the adapter. I can't find it. I normally have adapters for everything. Can't find it. So I am making this work. I got my cord. I got it here. And now I have my Starlink plugged in. Starlink, my Apple TV and my TV. I do have my Blue Eddy all turned on. And I am charging my watch and I'm charging my bug light so that I got something to zap those little buggers that if they decide to come in here and try to bite me. Yep. I've got my bed all ready to hop into. It's getting there. I made some more good little organization here. Danny's trash over there. And... I have a little ambiance. You can see I have some little ambiance for myself. I guess I got my solar lights on. But if I turn off my flash, hey, I can do this. Could you? I mean, can you go back to basics of camping? No power, no, you know. These are battery operated lights. And I love having them because I, they give me a nice atmosphere. I got my door open. Let's see if I can, can't really show you too much, but because there's no light out here. Let's see if I can light that up. I have my door open. There's my extension cord going into my wheel well. Yep, coming out of the van over there. I can't see it, but it's there. It's coming out of the van. Got my grill set up for tomorrow morning for breakfast. I'm gonna have to make my coffee on the grill. All right, well, I have my little burner. I do have a little burner I could plug in, but there, there's the cord coming out of the van. And 
it's plugged into my inverter. And there's my Starlink. We're going to see if I can get some TV. Yep. I know me, I rigged it. Danny's bowl. Got my grill ready. I think I'm going to make bacon and eggs. And they're in the refrigerator in the van. In the den. Have a great day and stay tuned for our next video.